What is up guys, my name is Wawa and I'm back with another Awesome Knots video and this one is gonna be another beta video this time featuring Mr. Ted McPain one of the three new characters coming out in the Awesome Knot Star Storm expansion which is I don't think it's gonna be anytime soon because this character is also taking a while to produce and to balance and there's gonna be two more characters that they will release as well in beta before the expansion officially kicks off but here we go we're finally experiencing some action here from Mr. Ted McPain he's actually a pretty good character from my experience so far he's pretty fun to play so first off I'm actually gonna give you guys a heads up that this is gonna be basically a two-part episode or two-part video basically part one is gonna be going through all his loadouts his skills and loadouts like what we're gonna do about now and then the next part is gonna be some actual gameplay I'm actually gonna keep both of these in the same video for now but maybe in the future if you guys want I'll split it up into two like part one gonna be another one video and then part two is gonna be another video like gonna be making them separate maybe it's easier for both for you guys to watch it might be easier for me to upload it as well because YouTube right now is kind of meh with their uploading with longer videos so yeah I'm gonna try to balance it out and see what works out best for everyone anyways here we go part one let's talk about the skills and loadouts that mr. Ted McPain has so first off his two skills we do have airstrike and we do have stim pack so airstrike basically it's a skill shot no mm, I guess it's kind of a skill shot it's not really from my experience so far it's kind of hard to be accurate with it maybe because I'm not experienced with him as of the moment but so far it's actually a pretty good skill so basically shoot a flare that marks the location to a powerful airstrike I don't even see that he shoots a flare like I don't see where the flare lands or anything like that maybe they're still developing that maybe they're gonna add an animation to it because if ever you do see a player like a launch from his like a machine gun you're actually gonna have an easier time to like practicing how far the the target will be or how far the laser will shoot down off then we do have the next one is gonna be stim pack receive a temporary burst attack speed but will do damage so basically he damaged himself by 20 and he's gonna be attacking faster with 50% faster and 3% duration cooldown 6 seconds this is actually a pretty good skill and I'm actually gonna show you guys why in just a few moments especially in the gameplay um, version of this video or gameplay part of this video then we do have a pretty unique melee attack or basic attack here from Ted McPain it's actually pretty unique and I'm actually giving props to Awesome Nuts or to Ronima Games for being creative with their um, their basic attacks and their skills and loadouts and everything like that so basically right here we do have Ted McPain with a shotgun and machine gun so basically you can switch in and out of the shotgun and machine gun making Ted McPain kind of have more flexibility more options compared to other uh, awesome nuts which is pretty cool makes him pretty good he makes him a pretty good character and you actually can mess around with him a lot better and if you get used to playing Ted McPain you're gonna be super baller at like switching in and out of machine gun and shotgun and such but anyway Ted can alternate between his shotgun and machine gun shotgun damage is 30 damage base you can increase this to 45 and then you can add grenade uh, shots to that which is maxed out to 20 damage so basically you can do 65 damage per shot but then again there are reload times with this and there's actually a lot of like kind of glitchy things with the shotgun right now I'm gonna show you guys uh, about that in, in the gameplay as well hopefully I don't forget to sh tell you guys about it and we have machine gun damage 6 that's not true it's actually 5 B the base damage of sh the machine gun is 5 right now maybe it is 6 Am I am I missing something? I'm pretty sure it's five. It starts off with five, then you can upgrade it three times, which is gonna give it to eight damage per shot. He shoots really fast, actually. But then again, this machine gun only hits one dam, uh, one awesome nuts, or one character, and the shotgun hits multiple characters basically. But machine gun shoots really really fast though, and it's a pretty good range. The range of the shotgun is pretty short. I'm not even sure if this is accurate because from my experience the range isn't as far as the machine gun range like shotgun range I would say is as far as Coco's melee attack correct me if I'm wrong guys maybe I'm just experiencing very very heavy lag but I cannot I cannot imagine how the shotgun range and the machine gun range are the same I'm pretty sure 
that's that's not accurate. But then again, I might be wrong. Might need more experience with the character. Anyways, let's move on to the loadouts. We have the first loadout for the airstrike. Stealthy ninja weapons adds damage over time to airstrikes. Actually pretty good. Maximizes to 20 damage over 5 seconds. That's not bad at all. And then we have wheelbarrow of ammo. Increase damage of an airstrike. Damage uh, 5 per level. So you can max that out at 15 per level. Then we have I don't care bear adds a stunning effect to airstrike. 0.5 seconds stun. There's actually not that bad it's actually gonna stop your opponent off on their tracks but then again I noticed so far that even though without this there's actually a knockdown effect as well with airstrike maybe I think whenever the opponent is jumping and then they get hit with airstrike they kind of loses their momentum going forward and then just drops down unless they have a another jump or like another ability that they can use to for mobility jumping and we have triple RPG splits the airstrike in three pulses. I like using this mainly because it's actually it actually gives me more chance of hitting the opponent with my lasers or with my eight airstrike. Because the cooldown for the airstrike is pretty long, and having this uh, triple RPG loadout is actually pretty good, so that it, there's more chance of me hitting my opponents, as I said earlier. And yeah, it actually kind of helps you zone your opponent a little bit. Like if ever they're trying to run away from you, you can just easily like line up the airstrike from where they're going, and then those three pulses will keep them from going forward like a little bit further and allow you to catch up on them and do massive amounts of damage. Now we do have hamburger phone. After the airstrike, a health pack supply will drop. This is a really, really good ability in my opinion right now. Might get nerfed in the future. Might kind of be a, a pointless in the future as well, or right now because I'm not really, I haven't really been playing with other players that much. I'm only playing with AI in the beta, so yeah, this could be a pretty pointless uh, skill, whether you, uh, if you use it or not. Basically, what it does is drops off 25 health, um, like the orb, and it actually is an AOE as well. So basically, your droids can pick it up, your teammates can pick it up, you can pick it up, you can. All you guys can pick it up at the same time and all you guys are gonna get 50 healing. So basically if there's like two droids around your area and then your two teammates are there as well with you. So basically it's gonna heal you 50 uh, health each. So that's gonna be like 250 healing overall. This is actually much better than Voltors I believe because I believe Voltors uh, orb doesn't really heal the droids. But again um, it might be bad for you as well because those your droids can accidentally pick up these things which kind of makes them pointless in the long run but they're actually pretty useful as well like I'm gonna show you guys in the game hopefully I get to show it to you guys and I don't forget now we have the last one add less princess phone number airstrike will go through terrain all across the level this is actually okay I, I haven't really noticed any full use for this because basically even though you're, you're in the lower levels of the map it's, it's still gonna go through no matter what it doesn't go through towers though, unfortunately. Like if it does, that would be pretty awesome, but then it might be too OP. Let's move on to Stimpak. Armpit Shaving Cream is his first loadout. Adds a heal over time effect to Stimpak. This is actually a pretty good ability. Making the 20 damage inflicted to you by Stimpak, by activating Stimpak, like completely pointless. And then you upgrade this to the second level. It's gonna heal you plus 20. And with a cooldown at 6 seconds, that's basically 20 health every 6 seconds for you. So you can just spam and spam and spam it while turtling. And it's gonna give you 20 HP, which is pretty good. A pretty solid thing actually. You can just use it over and over again. It's also pretty cheap, 90 per level. So 180 for 20 health, not bad at all. Ammo weekly increases the attack speed while Stimpak is active. Attack speed 25%, that's actually pretty good. I'm gonna show you guys another kind of a glitch that I'm not sure should be happening or maybe not happening with this because it's actually pretty good. 75% attack speed for the shotgun and machine gun. That's insane. Plus above, plus the 50% damage or attack speed already that is done by Stimpak. So yeah, that's a lot of burst damage. And we have personal assistant, increased duration of Stimpak. Duration is 1 second. It's actually pretty good. I haven't really used it that much but... I think that 3 seconds is enough, but it's kind of hard to say because I still have no experience with the character with other players, so it might be harder for me to use Stimpak if it's only 3 seconds. 
Angel Wing toilet paper increases your maximum health while stim pack is active. This is also pretty okay. Uh, basically, it, it adds a 50 extra health to you whenever you're in stim pack, and then it uh, decreases your health gradually as well once you're out of stim pack. It's not bad. It's not bad. Basically, you can once you get to like that w to a certain point, you can just spam stim pack over and over again, so you can always have that extra health like forever with you. It's gonna. It's actually pretty insane. Uh, sniper toothbrush increased movement speed while stim pack is active, so movement speed 25%. That's actually pretty good as well. So basically, if you're trying to run away, this is one of the best things you can use. Then we have the last one, grenade pull home. For any astronauts get skilled, the cooldown on, on stim pack will reset. I haven't really used it because I don't think it's a useful skill, but maybe a lot of people will disagree with me because it might be good as well. Like it's pretty hard to say right now. Then we do have Shotgun Machine Gun for his basic attack. Ted McPain Unicorn Dance Carding adds a grenade to shotgun shots. So basically this is 20 extra damage to every shotgun shot that you fire. So be you basically shotgun has uh, 30 base damage. Add this thing up with 20. This is also AOE which is pretty good. So basically you do 50 damage per barrel. Yeah, pretty uh, for, per shot for the shotgun. And add the upgrade which is the commando Ted figurine increase the damage of shotgun machine gun which adds five damage to the shotgun making it like do 45 damage plus the six the, plus the 20 of the a grenade making it do like 65 per shot which is a ton of damage like a lot of people or a lot of knots doesn't really have more damage or more health than like what 600 I think I'm forgetting my forgetting my noid HP like a checklist now moving on Teddy's puff spider eggs reduces the reload time of shotgun it's actually pretty good I think the reload time of the shotgun it's so hard it's I'm kind of confused with the reload time of the shotgun it's kind of consistent because sometimes even though you do have a uh, bu bullets in your like barrel you still have to reload there's still like reload time and, and such M maybe I think it's one second reload time every time you fire like one shot Maybe with this one, it cancels out the reload time completely, making it like spammable. But then again, you're gonna run out of bullets. But yeah, it's actually pretty good. I have to say, it might it might be better than having this? That Grease Bill. Uh, it's a sniper shot to machine gun when switch weapons, so the damage is six, which is not bad. There's actually piercing on it as well. The range is pretty far. It also says 4.8. That's completely not true because the shot travels really far. I think half its screen. If I remember correctly, I don't really see the shot that much because I switch really fast and when I switch, I'm always in battle. So I'm not sure how far it really does travel. But yeah, for, I don't think it's 4.8. Some of these things are not correct, not accurate. Hopefully they correct it pretty soon. I think then we have Kano Juice, increase the range of machine gun, range plus 3. That is actually pretty good. It's pretty much the range of an extended range durable but you still cannot out you, you still can't uh, outrange a turret but still it's a pretty decent amount of um, increased range that whenever you're chasing down a low health opponent you can like hit him from really really far which is pretty good then we have Ted's power briefs adds knockback to shotgun shots pretty good in my opinion I don't use it that much it's good for situational stuff like if you're trying to like kite or like trap your opponent it's good at station AI 101 I believe you're gonna draw from the top and then try to trap your opponent towards your tower like that's good for those situations like it's gonna keep them in that area but besides that it's gonna be hard unless you have like burst opponents I guess you can knock your opponents to a clunk that's about to explode which is pretty good but yeah that is pretty much Ted McBain's uh, loadouts and perks and skills and whatever anyways we're gonna start this game right now, so we're basically moving on to part two. And here we go. I'm actually gonna use Sorona for this um, video. Sorona or Rabbit 4? Damn, man. <laughs> I keep forgetting my map names. They really need to, like, make that more, like, boom in your face so that I don't forget or people don't forget. Anyways, here we go. Ted McPain in briefs. American briefs. Pretty fancy. Going off with Solar Tree first, and then gonna go with Stim Pack first. And I'm actually gonna show you guys what I'm talking about with the glitch with the shotgun. I'm not sure if it's a glitch. Maybe it's meant to be like this, but it might be a glitch. We'll see. Basically, as you can see, you guys can see I'm gonna be activating. Oh shit! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on. 
So I'm actually going to be activating Stimpak, and once I activate Stimpak, you're going to see that... Damn, these three guys are <laughs> harassing me. You're gonna get, you guys are going to see that I am actually going to not run out of bullets, basically, once I activate them. Ah, oh, damn. I didn't catch him. Anyways, as you guys can see, I didn't really run out of shotgun shells, which is actually pretty good. In my opinion, I'm not sure if it's a glitch or not, I'm going to show you guys again. I can just spam shotgun shells over and over until the stim pack goes out. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's on purpose or not, but if it is on purpose, that would be pretty awesome, I guess. It's not on purpose, it's still pretty awesome. Let's try to do it again. It actually gets worse and worse once you have the attack speed upgrade for the attack on Stim Pack. Because it pre pretty much makes you fire like shit, six shotgun shell shells real fast. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I just keep on spamming shotgun shells. It's pretty insane. It does a lot of damage. It's pretty good, in my opinion. I'm not sure if it's OP. Oh, there's actually a catch to that thing. Like, it only works whenever you have three shotgun shells in your barrel. So if you only have one, you're gonna run out. But if you have three or more, it's gonna work perfectly fine, that glitch. I'm gonna show you guys uh, how to do that with the solar boss. I'm not sure I can do this, or I can beat the solar boss now. Oh no, oh! Almost, yes. We're able to beat him. So yeah, it does a lot of damage really fast and pretty early as well. Yeah, I can fire five shotgun shells without losing any, bu any bullets. Well, not that I noticed. Ah, damn you. <laughs> damn that clunk so smart. Anyways, yeah, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> that's a lot of damage really early in the game. What, I'm only level 6 and I can burst like, what, 120 or something like that. Mm, let's try out Airstrike. I'm going to show you guys air how Airstrike works. Oh, I have more money. So basically Airstrike, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty, it does a decent amount of damage. Mm, let's get this guy. Okay, so basically... Once we have the amplified damage, oh, you can actually buy that uh, when after the first go. Like, you don't really have to come back for it. You're gonna have enough money to buy it in the early stages or the first drop, the first time you visit the store. Let's try to do something with this. Ah, damn it! Uh, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I was kind of dumb. But anyways, yeah, you can actually buy this. It's actually really, really cheap, as I said earlier. So once you activate it, you're going to lose 20 damage, but then you're going to get it back. Now that I have level 2 of it, I'm going to heal 20 uh, for 20 extra health, which is pretty solid. So basically, making like stim pack pretty spammable. Most likely, mo a lot of these things will change in the future. But yeah, right now, it's pretty good. I'm going to try to trap this, trap this guy right here. Oh, nice one, Leon. Good job, Leon. A Leon that doesn't suck. Pretty good. I'm gonna try to buy a grenade in the next next time I come back. That'll be good. Spam, 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 spam. Yeah. So yeah, I was able to fire like five missiles or five what do you call that? Five shotgun shots for own rate. For having only three in the barrel. Pretty good. I don't know if also if it's this is an issue, but it looks like you can only reload or you can only load up shotgun shells if ever you're in shotgun mode or something like that. No! No! <laughs> Almost died right there again. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's gonna reload your shotgun barrel, like if ever you're in machine gun mode. As you guys can see, it's pretty hard to point out where the airstrike is gonna land. 
I need I just need to get used to it, I guess. Okay. Pretty easy kill. It does significantly more damage whenever you have the grenade. Like I'm actually gonna buy that right now. Oh try to lure them. Boom! Oh, I missed. Also, there's some inconsistency with those with that thing hitting. Oh, so smart that guy. That guy got away. Good job. Uh, watch out. Yeah, it doesn't seem like the shotgun shells do reload when I re machine gun one. Anyways, gonna go back home. Try to buy a couple stuff. Mm. What was I gonna buy again? I forgot. <laughs> oh yeah, the grenade. Ah, oh, at least I get in. I didn't have the grenade equipped, fortunately. I'll show you to guys next time, I guess. Uh, where's that thing? I like this triple RPG. I'm gonna use that. It allows the airstrike to do three pulses, so it's gonna uh, what do you call that? Divide the damage, but it's gonna allow you more chance to hit your opponent with it. Okay, so it's here right there. Ah. <laughs> it does so much damage right now. It's not even funny. That's kind of funny. You're dead. You have killed an enemy. So yeah, these are not the smartest AIs. I think this is only level three AI, but the smart AI is like you're kind of OP. <laughs> the level five ones. Ah. Oh my god, so much ninja move, man. So much, so much awesomeness. <laughs> that guy. Oh, my, my technique didn't work. Because I wasn't able to load up three shotgun barrels, or uh, shotgun ammo. Before I activated the... Before I activated the airs for the, the constant impact. No! Why'd you kill my turret? <laughs> oh my god, I died again. Mm, is there anything else I want to show you guys? Well, basically that's pretty much it for all the things that I wanted to show you guys. Mm. I, did, I wasn't able to show you guys the grenade damage which is kind of unfortunate. But I guess, yeah, that's pretty much it, I guess, for this video. If you guys want to see more Ted McPain, like, actual gameplay, just say it in the comments down below. Mm, yeah. Hope you guys like this video. Hopefully the video is not too crap for you guys. Not Super Gosu Pro anymore, unfortunately. Damn, I, was, I should have been able to kill, like, all those three guys. If ever I had the, the barrel. Look at that. Just imagine 55 damage that fast. It's crazy. Oh! <laughs> Anyways guys, hope you guys like this video. If you guys have any comments, suggestions, or violent reactions, please do comment down below. Comment sections and I'll try my best to get back at you as soon as possible. And anyways guys, hope you guys like this video and I'm out. Peace out. I'm out. Bye bye.